Hello everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. Uh, today we're going to talk about another free tuning solution that is uh, not LS Droid, it requires a PC. That's really the only difference, you'll still be tuning with Tuner Pro, except it'll work with a lot more devices um, and it gives you a little bit more freedom. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick, this is a P01, it's a 411, it used to be in Daryl when, when it was turbocharged and drive-by cable. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what this can do and what it can't do and, and you know how it's better than LS Droid and how it's worse than LS Droid. So let's dive in. Alright so we're going to go through this from scratch from start to finish so please watch the whole thing. I'm using my OBD Link MX because that's what I have on hand. You can use the LX, you can use a couple of the uh, J1234 whatever the number is devices that are corded. You can do it a couple different ways, but I have the OBD MX, OBD Link MX right here. Um, so that's what I'm using and that's what will be in this tutorial. So to start with, just go to Bluetooth and go to the start bar, type in Bluetooth, turn it on. Um, there's a little Bluetooth link button on the OBD link, you hold that until the Bluetooth light starts flash fast, fast flashing. Then you can click add a device, Bluetooth. It'll do its little thing up here where it's looking around for some Bluetooth. Once it comes up, you can double click it and it'll do its little thing again. I'll give you a pin, click connect, done. Then you need to go back to the start bar for device manager. Open that up. And in ports, it's added these two, six and seven. So it's probably COM6 or COM7. We'll minimize that, keep it open for now. To find PCM Hammer, you can Google it. The GitHub link to Legacy NSFW's uh, PCM Hacks page. And this is the creator of PCM Hammer. And this is where you can download it. So you click this. And here it is in a zip file. You can right click that and save it as. Since it's open source, he has the source code available. I've already done that. So I'll open up PCM Hammer now. You go to select device. It's already linked, but I'm gonna go to select device. We're using a serial port device because I have the Bluetooth, the OBD link MX. So there's COM 6 and 7, we'll select 6. Here's your options for different uh, devices that it works with, or it'll work with the J2534 device. And you click OK. All right, so once you have everything hooked up, set up, it'll give you this little message here. Um, so you go up to Tools, and you can see, you can read the entire PCM, you can verify the entire PCM. You can change a VIN. You can write just the parameter. You can write the operating system calibration and kernel. Or you can write a full flash, a clone. Um, so what I have here doesn't match. So you can do this. You can uh, read the properties. And it'll give you the calibration ID. The OS ID, that's what you need when I say, you know, that your bin and your XDF need to match. This is the OS ID. So say I want to write something. I want to write a calibration. And it gives you this warning message. The PCM can be rendered unusable. If your PCM stops working, will that make your life difficult? Which means if this is your only one for your only car that you have to drive to work tomorrow, you might want to not do this. Um, I have a pile of these. 
So I happen to know that this VIN or this bin ends in eight zero three two for Jewel. And this was tuned in Tuner Pro, if you guys remember. So I'm going to double click that. It's going to say, has the PCM been powered? It has. I'm going to continue. And it pops up this warning that the PCM and the file system are the operating system on the PCM and the one that I'm trying to flash don't match. And it won't let you do it. Um, but if you insist, you're like, I want the Jewel PCM. You can write the OS calibration and boot. It'll allow you to do that. Another warning message, I'm willing to take the risk. I have been powered on for 10 seconds. And then we go through the write process, just like LS Droid, except with a PC. If you guys can see, there's a couple messages that we're changing the operating system to 8322. I think I said 80322 or whatever. I don't know. I didn't say that, but that's what I meant. So once this is done, the operating system on this PCM will, it, this PCM will be almost just like Jules PCM, except the VIN will be different. All right, so that took about 12 minutes in real time. Um, and then here it's going through a verification that all the starting and ending files match. So total of 12 minutes, 26 seconds. And we've completely written a Tuner Pro bin to a PCM using PCM Hammer. Again, this is only going to work just like um, LS Droid is only going to work on the P01 and the P59 PCMs to my knowledge. Um, you can use it to, like I said, change a VIN, write a matching VIN, whatever. Um, the next video that I do will go into how to clone one. I'm not going to get into that here because it's already a long video, but basically this is the exact same process that we used on Tuner Pro, except you're not locked into what device you have to use. Uh, there's a little more flexibility. And for those of you who have iPhones, you can actually do this with a PC. So um, you do have to have a PC that has some Bluetooth ability. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Also, there's a PCM logger that we'll get into. So that, that's a plus over LS Droid because it has the ability to log. I haven't gotten into it. I don't know what kind of log it creates, but it's there. So anyway, like I said, next week, next video, I'll show you guys how to do a clone with it. Um, that's what I bought it for. Well, I didn't buy it. That's what I downloaded it for because I want to make backups of my truck PCM. So uh, I thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, concerns, complaints, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments where I'll probably just mock you and not answer you. But I might answer you if you have a legitimate question. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time on The Driveway Engineer.